Hey, these are reviews from Mob.org, and as always, me, Garrett. You won't believe it, but today, we have a game about zombies. I know, right? A new zombie shooter with a non-standard name. Dead on Arrival 2. In general, in a game about zombies, there always should be the word dead or zombie, and it's even better to connect both together. Then, the game will sell itself. Such is fashionable now, no plot zombies in your hands. So, obviously, in such games, the word zombie is the most terrible spoiler. In general, in Dead on Arrival 2, you will shoot waves of monsters wandering in streets, houses, offices, and plants. But the game doesn't brag about anything special. For long stretches, I saw only one boss, ordinary zombies. They don't boast tons of abilities, but I was pleased with the shopping. Not only for the zombies, the main character can try on the most stylish and, to an extent, disgracefully absurd dresses. There's even a suit of a dinosaur. The purpose of the game is simple, to survive to have something to tell your children. No, I certainly ran forward, but thought up a non-standard plot. And you will not share such adventures with your future kids, but you can tell your friends about Dead on Arrival. Not simply for fun, but for the sake of fire support. And yes, there's a cooperative mode supporting up to four players, and it is already a huge plus for a mediocre game. But it's not the only bonus. Besides good gameplay and joint play, it also has magnificent graphics. Everything shines, and whatever doesn't shine was blurred. In general, the developers have a clever pair of hands. Apart from the standard weapon, in the game you can shoot with an arbalist, a minigun, a flamethrower, and even from a freeze gun named the Freeze Ray. Each weapon, as well as certain pieces of the character, have some steps of leveling up that will give you a chance to live longer and to go even further. The whole game is done in quite a trashy style. Even at the start, we are met by a dancing zombie, checking graphics opportunities of your device by his dance. If you want to argue with him, settings can be changed and you will enjoy smart graphics and lags if you have a chip from NVIDIA Tegra or NVIDIA Shield. For those who don't know, it's a portable game console from the company NVIDIA, which has been advertised for a long time. NVIDIA, prove to all that you are not a rogue. So. Let's weigh all advantages and disadvantages. Fine graphics, good physics, few game modes, and multiplayer up to four players. It's pretty good. Speaking about minuses, I can remember only two. Scarcity of enemies and locations. In general, there's only a few minuses, so it should be played by everybody who has balls. Especially I advise it for fans of Alien Swarm and Alien Shooter. That's all. If you liked it, download, give us some likes, follow our channel, and join our group. There are still so many interesting things to see. It was a review from Mob.org and me, Garrett. See you soon.